Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for giving my husband the silent treatment after he wore a shirt his work wife gave him. I'm in my 30s and have been married to my husband, who's also in his 30s for five years. In the past year he started a new job where he shares his role with a co-worker named Chelsea, who's in her 20s. I've noticed that Chelsea has been increasingly pushing my comfort boundaries, and honestly, I just don't trust her. I've known Chelsea and her family for years, even before I got married, and I wasn't too fond of her back then either. She says and does things that, while not necessarily malicious, feel a bit off, almost like she's trying to act as a second wife to him. It's not that I'm insecure about her, but I do find her behavior creepy. She once told me she sees my husband as a brother, which annoys me because she has a great brother, and I'm actually friends with him. Chelsea frequently calls, texts, and FaceTimes my husband about both work and personal matters, and I've even heard someone refer to her as his work wife. Unfortunately, my MIL passed last month, and it has been utter hell. In the midst of grief, Chelsea texted asking how my husband was doing, and how she cries every day thinking about him, and had told me that she knows exactly what I'm going through, no she doesn't, and that she can't wait to give my husband a huge hug. Fast forward a little bit and she was drunk at a party, and saw my husband leaving, where she confronted him on why he was leaving. He told her, I didn't think I had to tell you what I'm doing, resulting in her panic texting him after to make sure they were okay and trying to get him to talk to her by saying, you can open up and talk to me or vent or just tell me to a few. Strange to me. There's been more instances but I know I have a limit. Anyways, his birthday was last week, and she called him asking his shirt size, and she made it a point to let him know she'll never forget his birthday. Like why are you so creepy sometimes gf? Yesterday, I'm cleaning the kitchen when he walks in, and I notice it's an unfamiliar shirt. I asked if it was new, and he said Chelsea got it for me, and my blood boiled. Instant rage and I went quiet. He asked if I cared and I remained silent and walked away. I'm usually a huge communicator, but his mom just passed and he asked for no drama, and I'm trying my hardest to respect that, but I know I have zero patience and want to tell him it's effing weird how involved a coworker is trying to become in his life and she needs to back down and focus on her own engagement. Everyone I talk to says I'm not in the wrong and she's being creepy, but I feel bad for ignoring my husband and walking away from him. I saw he looked upset and confused, but I know he's already overwhelmed with grief and don't want to make things worse. Update. Okay, we have news. So just to clarify some things first. For some additional background. One I have known Chelsea and her family prior to my marriage through some mutual connections, and her family being very very close with my ex and his family, hence some hesitancy. I became close friends with her brother, and he became a part of my group of friends etc, etc. She did not meet my husband until they both started working for the same company. So, I was not very close with Chelsea, but we always saw and interacted cordially. 2. I did not tell Chelsea his shirt size. She called my husband and asked him his shirt size, where he told her. I would have never told her his size and would have made some jokes saying that he has enough shirts and not to bother buying him anymore. 3. I wish I added this in earlier, but my husband and I have had conversations about my feelings regarding Chelsea and her behaviors. I've tried everything from being sweet, aloof, concerned and outright angry. Each time I've been met with some variation of he understands, but Chelsea is neurotic, he never dismisses my feeling outright, but he attempts to be sensitive to her mental state and says that he has no issue stepping in if slash when necessary. However, I found it necessary and it's clear he isn't trying to have the confrontation up until the shirt event. 4. My husband requesting no drama stems from a series of events that occurred within his family, and work life that drained his emotional battery leading him to just ask for smooth sailing and finding his new normal. I do have a history of struggling to manage my anger during arguments, but I have taken the steps and done what is necessary to address my anger to make sure my marriage does not suffer, and we have been amazing. I did want to be mindful that what he has endured with family and other aspects of his life has impacted his mood, which led him to openly ask the universe for some peace and no drama, which made me internalize his message. Also, we are scheduled to have our first marriage counseling session, this upcoming week, just to really make sure we iron out any issues, 
and wanted to make sure when I had my update that I had some juice and evidence of change to give y'all. As for the talk, it went amazing. I sat down with my husband and just told him that there were some things that I wanted to bring to his attention, and included a variation of what was in the comments along with my own words, to really drive home the fact that I'm beyond over my limit, and wanted him to have it on his radar. My husband was very attentive and validating. We talked for a while, and although there were moments where we both didn't seem to understand one another, we tried hard to use some fair fighting rules I've gotten from my therapist, and that really seemed to help. He gave me his point of view, and we talked about how my walking away made him feel awful, and how I was upset that he knew I would be mad seeing him wearing the shirt. He told me that she gifted him the shirt and was asked to go golfing with his friends after work, and it happened to be a golf shirt. His initial rationale was that everyone knows he loves to play, and didn't think the gift to be weird and thought why not wear it since he went to play. We did have a discussion about the attention she gave him, and how that can be addicting and slash or flattering, and what to do to fix that so if something similar happens again, he will think a little more, and come up with a better response to respect my boundaries and his. Fortunately, I did get to witness the text conversation. I will say he has always been very open with his phone and chats, and I did see the series of texts as they happened in real time when she was bombarding him with messages. I won't ever ignore the possibility that he could have a role in this as well and I believe that anything that's done in the dark, eventually comes to light. I will have to bring up the topic of HR again today if he doesn't present any updates. We did talk about it previously, and he was very open to it after seeing her reaction lately, but I haven't heard anything since. And that talk took place on Monday. I made sure to accept my role in this situation, and he was able to do the same. Turns out that my husband has already had a chat with Chelsea and put her in her place post my reaction. Leading Chelsea to then have a three-day temper tantrum and constantly seeking reassurance and validation from my husband. In the form of texts and in-person harassment. My husband finally had enough and told her that if she didn't knock it off that he would pursue this through his chain of command and HR. That seemed to stop her in her tracks, sorta, where she then started to tell him that she was having troubles at home and my husband responded with, sorry to hear that, good luck with everything. She did not like this. He has since then put up some serious boundaries and we both came up with some ideas that we were both comfortable with and won't stress out his work environment more. I can't thank this community enough for helping me get my ass in gear. For all comments, the loving and supportive, ugly and blunt, and the indifferent, I thank you all for taking your time to share your input. This could have possibly saved my marriage. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.